कीर्तन करेंगे थोड़ा सा इंट्रोडक्शन दे देता हूँ क्योंकि हरे कृष्णा डियर डिवोटीज सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग टुडे विद इंग्लिश ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ गुरु जी चैतन्य चरित अमृत लेक्चर सीरीज इंडिया फरीदाबाद से केशव प्रभु सो साथ ही साथ फ्रॉम इंडिया ट्रांसलेशन भी करेंगे आई विल बी डूइंग ट्रांसलेशन साइमल्टेनियस ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ गुरु जी लेक्चर पार्ट नाउ दिस चैतन्य चरितमृत हैज बीन चूजन बाय द रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ सम डिवोटीज आदि लीला को लास्ट टाइम मैंने कुछ आई ट्राई टू स्पीक समथिंग अबाउट द आदि लीला द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ चैतन्य चरितमृत सो द फर्स्ट चैप्टर वी कवर्ड इन टू थ्री मंथ्स वी कवर्ड इन टू थ्री मंथ्स फर्स्ट चैप्टर ओनली सो इट वॉज वेरी इलेबोरेट because chaitanya charitamrita is in itself very um, elaborate scripture in which shila krishna das kaviraj goswami has actually poured all the scriptures all the vedas puranas upanishads mahabharat brahma sutra and the essence of all these that is shrimad bhagavatam un bhagavatam ko bhi aur jeev goswami ji ke sandarbhon ko That Bhagavatam plus Jeeva Goswami Sandarbhas, Jeeva Goswami is Bhakti Rasamri Sindhu Ujjwal Nilmani, Shri Raghunath Das Goswami is Scriptures, Shri Sanatan Goswami is Brihad Bhagavatam Ritam. It's like pouring the whole ocean in just a pot. So in one scripture, all these scriptures, all these shastras have been included and have written this beautiful scripture what to speak of just beautiful it's not just beautiful it's like a nectar its name itself is chaitanya charitamrit it's the nectar of mahaprabhu's past times and today on this first day i will just tell you in the starting itself agri ki aap prarthna ki ki aap chaitanya charitamrit sunaiye so those devotees who requested for chaitanya charitamrita actually so there are multiple reasons for that uh, one is that just now kartik has ended and everyone heard krishna's past times so nicely very beautiful strong siddhantas and everything and now after 3 months gaur purnima aa rahi hai gaur purnima is coming navdeep dham parikrama so the devotees they had this desire that as much as possible we can here chaitanya charitamrit mahaprabhu's past times so this was ek karan raha also one reason maine aapko prarthna ki lekin jin bhakton ne prarthna ki bahut bhakton ne kartik mein so many devotees actually requested chaitanya charitamrit padhaiye ki zyada kathin mat ki that you please teach chaitanya charitamrita in such a way that it should not be very difficult also because we are very new we are learning very newly so as easy as possible please do it utna acha hoga kyunki hamare dimag mein baat pahunch jayegi so that we can understand it nahi to kartik ki parikrama mein hari katha ek dusre star ki thi ek dusra level because in kartik the hari katha was of a very different level it was very high level जो नए भक्त हैं विशेष करके सो द न्यू डिवोटीज समझने में कुछ कठिनाई कुछ परेशानी होती है तो इसलिए मैं so, प्रयास करूंगा दैट्स व्हाई आई विल जस्ट ट्राई आई आई कैन नॉट गारंटी बिकॉज़ दिस स्क्रिप्चर इज इन इटसेल्फ वेरी हेवी एंड इट हैज सो मेनी डीप मूड्स डीप थॉट्स डीप फिलॉसफी बट आई विल ट्राई माय बेस्ट टू मेक इट एज सिंपल एज पॉसिबल आप भी अपने कुछ सो यू ऑल आल्सो please keep messaging me about some feedbacks or your thoughts that you are getting so that i can get an outline that i have to speak in this domain or of this level hari katha because shrotao mein kuch naye log bhi hain in this there are in this audience that we are having here there are some old devotees senior devotees also and some new devotees also so i have to make a level which is suitable for everyone 
otherwise the senior devotees will say oh this is very basic we have already heard and the new devotees if i'll just be very high for the senior devotees the new devotees will think that oh this is too high for us so i have to balance it properly and also we have english translation from faridabad shri radha madhav gaudiya mat by the mercy of gurudev and especially krishnadas kaviraj goswami ji i already told that personality who gave three nectar to this world first is shri chaitanya charitamrita which we are hearing today or in other words mahaprabhu's past times the nectar of mahaprabhu's past times now second is Go- govind leela amrit what is the meaning of govind leela amrit radha krishna's past times the nectar of radha krishna's past times and then the third one is that which is written by shila bilva mangal thakur krishna karna amrit so these three nectars and the one who drinks the nectar what happens to that person he becomes completely immortal so we are not drinking this nectar to become immortal actually we are not doing for that why we are doing guru charno mein mahaprabhu ji ke charno mein hamare ikishta shishya radha madhav ji ke charno mein hamari we want that our attachment our love at the lotus feet of shri radha madhav guru vargas may increase so that's why this great personality shri krishna das kaviraj goswami whatever he has written is complete in itself krishna das kaviraj goswami has he written this scripture for his own self for himself only and krishna das kaviraj goswami is himself speaking that a granth likhaye mor madan mohan who is actually making me write this scripture i am not writing this this scripture is been actually mainly written by madan mohan ji i am just an instrument recording in progress ye granth likhare kaun so who is writing this scripture madan mohan ji this is what shila krishnadas kaviraj goswami ji is saying so mahaprabhu's past time how it is it is like nectar so this is just a thing which is compared it is compared with nectar but nectar is something material actually for example chintamani chintamani is that kind of jewel a stone which when touched by iron that iron becomes gold we say it parasmani or touch stone also which when touched uh, by iron that iron gets converted into gold so this kind of touch stones they can give gold of this world but can that touch stone or uh, that kind of uh, uh, special stones or jewels can they provide us krishna bhakti can they provide us uh, attachment to the lotus feet of krishna no it cannot that's why this nectar is that kind of thing attaining which or to attain this the lord himself had to have four incarnations this nectar is not an ordinary thing when the ocean churning past time happened lord ajit lord kachap lord dhanvantri and mohini four four incarnations the lord had to take and there was a tug of war between demigods and demons and the ocean got churned and when the ocean is getting churned when any churning happens then many things come out and in our sadhan kal also in the stage of practice we also actually churn our mind our heart so this churning of ocean past time is very very useful for the practitioners for the sadhakas because in this man churning in this manthan has been done of each each past time 
if you just focus and deeply understand these past time then it is really very much suitable for a sadhak kaisa man ka man ka man kaisa is man ka sadhak astitri nahi it is like churning of the heart that heart which does not that mind which sometimes accepts sometimes rejects that mind which is very unstable which is very restless so this is the state of mind such low state so man ka man so churning of the mind we actually require these senses for sadhana if we do not have hands then how can we chant also if we do not have hands how will we serve thakur ji and guru ji if we don't have legs then how will we do parikrama if we don't have eyes then how can we have darshan of the lord if we don't have nose then how can we smell that tulsi and the flowers which are offered to the lord's lotus feet if we don't have tongue then how can we taste krishna's prasadam if we don't have tongue how can we chant krishna's holy name and if the ears are not there oh ears are the most important whatever good news or bad news everything gets heard by ears only ears have like one of the main purposes even to have darshan of the lord we get the qualification through ears only otherwise how these ears are they are like karna put nivasan this tongue if it does not speaks the holy name of the lord then this tongue is like the turtle sound made by the frog it's like the frog's tongue it's just making tur 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 sound and these ears if this ears does not hear krishna's katha then this is just a kind of a hole in which if krishna is not there then krishna's so if it is not hearing krishna's past times then it is actually always ready to accept the poison the lord urukram krishna's glories if does not enter into our ears if we don't hear krishna's glories then there is no use the ears are completely useless so that's why this sadhan also we can be able to do only through these material senses only so we actually churn these senses so that the essence that comes out of it is the nectar and it is mostly the case 100% the case that when we churn anything then first thing that comes out of that churning is something really bad that thing which is nothing to do with krishna those sanskaras they get churned those anarthas they get churned and this happens to that person only who is really doing sadhana and if he is not doing sadhana he is just showing in the name of sadhana then he is churning can never happen actually his churning will never be successful for churning there is a requirement of gravity and seriousness sincerity these are the symptoms of a sadhaka then he churns all the things that are coming out of that churning which is averse to krishna which is not use of krishna which is not related to krishna other people they just take that for example in the ocean churning past time also so many material things came out and everyone just grabbed that but what is the essence of that the essence which came in the last was the nectar so who drank it 
demigods drank it so after drinking that nectar are the demigods always happy eternally happy satisfied even the demigods who have drunk this nectar they are still not really very satisfied all the times see i am <clears throat> explaining in very simple language i am not really speaking in very shastric language just simply i am connecting with what devotees has said about this so the demigods also they are not at all happy completely how then shukadev goswami is speaking bhagavatam at that time the demigods from swarga heaven they came with this pot of nectar and said that oh shukadev ji you just give this <coughs> pot of nectar to parikshit maharaj because after 7 days he is going to die so this amrit this nectar is very useful for parikshit maharaj because he is about to die now in exchange of this nectar you can give us this krishna katha amrit the nectar of krishna's past time so the demigods have come here to make a deal so you take this nectar give this to Shuk- parikshit maharaj and in return you give us this krishna katha amrit so Shukadev Goswami he could understood the heart of demigods. What was the intention that these demigods have come with? So they want to drink this nectar of Krishna Katha in exchange of nectar of heaven. Right now, I know in India it is ten o'clock at night around, and everyone must be getting ready to sleep. And after having prasad. already people starts feeling drowsy and want to sleep so that's why this time has been chosen actually so that you all get freed of all your duties and everything of your household chores and this one hour in the night from 9:30 to 10:30 hearing this hari katha hearing this chaitanya charitamrit you can end the last part, you can just use the last part of your day very auspiciously and like engaging in the best in the whole other parts of the day we have to do so many different things so we will not be very focused in hari katha our guruji used to say that those people who sit behind at last and hear hari katha they are not really hearing hari katha but those who really want to welcome hari katha and want to accept from the ears they should always sit in front and hear hari katha and also should have a notebook and pen with oneself to write each point because when you write then you always remember and if you're not writing then oh the mind will always wonder oh what's there in the kitchen oh let's eat some snacks also just do this do that so there is difference between listening um, and really serving hari katha so you have to understand this initially previously also when we used to do zoom i told that those who are off screen they must be like not very attentive they must be doing other things of the house as well they must be eating something they must be just lying down on the bed in the blanket and uh, uh, he started hari katha hearing hari katha but must have already gone to sleep and snoring nicely so why so they will not switch on the screen only because they uh, they have to do other things as well they they, they don't want to serve hari katha properly but then when screen is on then you feel so much attentive oh i have been watched i'll sit properly so this is the thing so hearing and seeing the speaker directly and being very attentive and then only that hari katha can really enter into the heart so that's why i will request everyone just one hour of your day but please give me this one hour of your day and hear properly and then other things you can just do before and after so hear this hari katha 
and accept these pastimes of Mahaprabhu. Let them enter into your heart. And this is the best of all solutions. And that can only happen when you all come in front of the screen. So I can see devotees are not ready today. So please be ready tomorrow. I'm just sparing you for today. But from tomorrow, all screens should be on. Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya. All the time, one should serve Bhagavatam. How to serve Bhagavatam? By hearing. Chaitanya Charitamrit. One should hear it eternally. And eternally should glorify and do the kirtan of it. Eternally doesn't mean regularly. Eternally means all the time. It's not that just once in a day for one hour of the day. No. Every day, all the time, 24-7. And how it is possible to do that? Whatever we are hearing, whatever we are speaking, just meditating on that, reflecting on that, what we are hearing. And how we will reflect when we will chant. See, all of you are disciples of some some Gurudev. And you have got Harinam also. So, when we chant, then our focus is on the holy name. No, the focus goes in different, different areas. The mind just wanders everywhere in the world. So we need to do quality chanting. Srila Bhaktivedya and Bharati Gusai Maharaj used to say that quality chanting, chanting with quality. Then if one chants with quality, then some impressions come in the heart. If the quality chanting is not there, then how the moods will come? Then it will be like, I have to finish 16 rounds and I'll just switch on the machine and I'm just speaking Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna like this. And there will be no realization then. Your quantity may get fulfilled. You may chant your 16 rounds or whatever rounds you chant, but the quality is missing. My Guru Maharaj Shila Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj used to say, that keeping the beads in the hand, just don't chant. Try to understand or try to be, go deep into the realization. Get into the experience of chanting this holy name. Get into the realization of chanting this holy name. Not just hold the beads in your hands. Just for the sake of completion of the process of, or of your rounds. Uh, I have promised the vow this that I have to chant 16 rounds. So, but you have to go into the experience. You have to go into the realization of those chanting of that Hari Nam. And when will this happen? When we will hear Hari Katha. So, never ever leave Hari Katha. This Katha is that thing which will make us enter into that realization. And in that also, if Gaur Katha is there, Mahaprabhu's Katha is there, then what to speak? Wow. So I'm just speaking the foundation, which is very necessary to hear, actually. That what is the meaning of this Chaitanya Charitamrita? This is about Chaitanya Charitra. This is about the character of Mahaprabhu. His characteristics. You understand character? How... The character gets built by name, form, quality, and pastimes. All these four things, also Parikar, the associate, these five things together build the character. What is the name? Suppose a person's name is only, like for example, a person's name is Papi Das, means uh, sinful Das. A person's name is Anartha Das. So, by the name itself, we can understand his character. If a person's name is Ravan Das, a woman's name, uh, Mataji's name is Putana Dasi or Surpana Khan Dasi. So, from the name itself, we can just see the characters. And again, the form, after name comes the form. So here there is no uh, biasness, but still, uh, 
it is a ghost or some uh, ghostly body they have any kind of uh, uh, form then comes uh, the past times that what is his activities and the parikar means what association he is in so name form qualities past times and associates all this together actually builds the character what is the name what is the form what is the qualities so that's why at the time of initiation the name gets changed like sudevi dasi nitai das vasudev das radha sundari dasi vipin bihari das yashoda dasi all these they are uh, spiritual names when we chant when we speak out these names or we just remember these names then slowly slowly we move forward towards spirituality because these names are related with krishna and radha rani this is not just ordinary names tinku pinku tom dick harry and all these things no roop so what's the quality what's the form roop kaisa hona chahiye bhaktan ka how the form of devotee should be it should have like beautiful tilak on the forehead having tulsi beads on the neck aur sundar dekhne mein and isme roop mein koi akshata aati hai koi sundar hai ke sundar in this form we are not uh, uh, targeting that oh someone is beautiful someone is not beautiful no form means having those uh, like devotional form like i see in some uh, places the devotees you know how they are they are devotees they chant everything is there but the hairs are like spikes spikes they they apply very nice gel and they make spikes very nice as if they just got an electric shock or something or some ghost just caught him and his hairs just standed on the head so i asked this person hey, you are vaishnava you are a devotee so the way a devotee should look like you should look like that and then i saw a devotee he was shaving the head is shaved but he is having this small beard hair and then some big big beards so by seeing nobody can tell that he is a devotee so he says to me that what what is the like a purpose it is all external things i can keep my hair any way i want this is not related to bhakti i i explain them it is so much related to bhakti <clears throat> through this we get inspiration in bhakti as your form will be the beauty will increase as how you hold your body or how devotional your appearance looks like so this is the form next comes the quality the quality is again very much important suppose a person is of any kind of nature see nature and quality are two different things a person may be a very like jolly very happy person very satisfied another is like very uh, angry very restless so this is not his quality this is his nature so don't get confused with this the quality and the nature our gurudev shila bhakti vedan narayan gosai maharaj ji used to say this guruji used to say that see sometimes it is seen that a devotee is very angry he gets angry on uh, like very like very short tempered basically so does that mean that he is not a devotee or he cannot do bhakti it's not like that he can do bhakti that anger being angry it is the nature actually it is not quality it is his nature that he is always angry or short tempered there is no relationship of anger and bhakti we just simply say to people around hey you are a devotee how can you be angry you are so much angry uh, anger or short tempered person how can you be a devotee like it doesn't look like but it is not that case bhakti is very different bhakti is not dependent on all these things see bhakti is the nature of soul 
and all the other things like anger and everything is the nature of the body it's the tendency of the body suppose a person who is doing service to guru and many things but his nature is very angry one like very short tempered so what he is doing as a bhakti his service is that is completely different from being angry not angry that is just his nature so that's why name form and quality now this quality we are discussing here so the quality is not related with the nature the quality is not made out of its nature the quality is made out of his choice like what he is doing basically he is doing services he is doing bhajan he is doing bhakti this service in itself has a different mood someone do service for one's own happiness someone do service for the happiness of the lord the one who do service for one's own happiness what is that that is atm indriya priti vancha tate bale kaam that thing is done by for one's own self but krishna indriya priti vancha dhare premana where the service is done for the purpose of the lord that is called real service so we un- should understand this properly see we hear so many different things so many hari katha so many scriptures also we read we can chant also so much we can speak also very nicely hari katha and all but in our daily practice how big role it is having this particular shloka that whatever service i am doing is it for my own happiness or for the happiness of my guru maharaj and my lord krishna and this will be very personal thing it depends on person to person not everyone will have the same level of consciousness same level of surrenderness that oh whatever i am doing is for guruji and krishna no so many part of the things that we do will be for ourselves so we have to see that ourselves this is very personal and depends person to person so those who do akinchana bhakti understand this carefully we are hearing chaitanya charitamrit so it's very important to hear these things that's why i am emphasizing this and putting so much um, stress on this point the bhakti that we are having at the lotus feet of the lord what kind of bhakti akinchan bhakti meaning of akinchan bhakti is that bhakti which is beyond the modes of material nature it's the pure devotion in which there is no kind of mixture it is pure devotion which actually very less people of the world knows about see we say a bhakti is bhakti not all activities is bhakti we have to understand this somewhere it is bhakti mixed with karma somewhere it is bhakti mixed with knowledge somewhere bhakti is mixed with desires desire to attain heaven doing this sacrifice that fire sacrifice that donation austerity only to attain heaven so that's karma mishra bhakti means bhakti endowed with karma naam seva bhagavat hearing everything will happen but the purpose is to attain heaven and do other things attain all these merits and everything so this is karma mishra bhakti and then second is gyan mishra bhakti the sadhana all the practice that one do to attain mukti liberation so that is bhakti endowed with this gyan knowledge so we have to take the shelter of this bhakti without taking shelter of bhakti we can never have or attain anything see we have to take the shelter of bhagavatam chaitanya charitamrit and everything so that's karma mishra bhakti Not, neither that's not neither karma mishra bhakti nor gyan mishra bhakti means not that bhakti which is endowed with karma fruitive activities nor with the knowledge 
akinchan becoming akinchan and the devotion that is akinchan means shuddh bhakti means pure devotion right now our senses are not pure everywhere it's impurity in our life so much impurity everywhere in the environment in the atmosphere our body is it pure just think about it our mind is pure just think about it it's completely impure so much impure thoughts and all these things how will we able to do pure devotion then but we do have some desire to follow shuddh bhakti and with that desire the efforts are also very important so all those activities will also be coming under this category of krishna bhakti only see i'll again repeat understand this carefully see right now we are not performing shuddh bhakti pure devotion but we really want to perform pure devotion so that desire itself that we have to perform pure devotion and with that desire we are putting some efforts as well we are practicing also although our state is very impure but we do have desire to attain pure devotion to and we are working in that direction so this kind of category that also comes under shuddh bhakti pure devotion because the goal is only pure devotion so that thing actually gets included yes yes the bhagavad gita kanchan whoever keeps pure devotion in the heart in the mind sura ka matlab hota hai devta sura means demigod here in the shloka so that person attains all the qualities of demigods no demigods are actually in mode of goodness and mode of goodness passion ignorance beyond this is nirguna which is beyond material mode so we do not want either mode of goodness passion neither ignorance nothing we don't want these things and there is something beyond that that is nirguna who have that samasta sura samasta sura means the lord and his associates parikar those who stay near him who reside near him so their qualities come in that person who wants to perform pure devotion the person who wants to perform pure devotion attains these qualities of the lord himself and his associates how will good qualities come in that in the heart of that person whose heart whose mind is completely restless who is just running here and there this direction that direction that direction not having any kind of stability why because just walking and running here and there as per the desire of the mind till now have not used intelligence in, in real why because intelligence controls the mind not using mind not using intelligence only using mind so how will those qualities be able to come it is impossible the one who is sitting on the chariot of mind and running here and there in all directions bhakti cannot enter in him so that's why sadgun we have to attain all these favorable qualities which is good for attaining pure devotion so what we heard today the holy name is very important what is our sorry the name is very important see what is our name for example oh what is your name someone ask so i'll you'll say oh my name is demonus dasi then a person will get really scared demonus dasi this weird name if the name is like this what she must be doing then i don't know and if you ask another girl uh, what's your name she says oh radhika dasi dati manjari dasi all these radharani's and her manjari's dasi like raglika dasi so from this just by hearing this what comes in the mind oh so beautiful name radha ji's dasi radha ji's maid servant so this 
करेक्टर बिल्डिंग फर्स्ट इज नेम देन द सेकेंड इज नेम फॉर्म फॉर्म लुक्स शुड लुक लाइक अ डिवोटी His form should be like devoted, normal, very uh, devotional. Then third comes quality, name, form, quality, and the fourth one we heard, lila, the past time means the activities for in our case the activities that the person is involved in. The person will say, oh, I do business, I do job, I do this and that. So how can I do bhakti? I do play cricket. So how can I do bhakti? these activities are not necessary you do whatever your duties are or whatever your interests are for maintenance of your life but the main thing is grihe thako vane thako sada hari bale jago be you live as a renunciant be you live in the household family so you don't think that oh householders they uh, have so much duties and then they work so hard and the sanyasis the brahmacharis they don't do anything you should understand that a brahmachari a sanyasi their day starts at 4 and uh, householders their they can start still at 6 and 7 they may be having other activities but it's not that uh, the renunciants are free no they also have so much to do so they are also engaged in various activities so it's important that wherever in whichever ashram we are we have to chant the holy name then so name form quality we covered then past time the activities then comes the associates so it's very important to see that whom we are associating with because the birds with the same feather flocks together you see eagles vultures the pigeons or swans different different birds have you seen uh, a pigeon or an eagle flying together no crow or a vulture flying together no birds of the same feather those birds which have the feathers of similar kind of similar length of similar structure then they all fly together they don't mix with other species so that's why the meaning of parikar means our association whom we have friendship with whom we are sitting whom we are spending our our time with so this is the association so now you will say oh we have to go outside we have to talk to this vegetable seller also and to these vendors and everything so should we stop talking to them so we do job and in our business also we have to talk to the employees and everything should we stop talking to them no that kind of conversation is very external but whom we are keeping with ourselves whom we are getting influenced with through which our bhakti should increase that association should we have deciding in that devotional society it's very important so by these five things the character gets built so i will not really speak more into this because it's so vast again like we say oh, actually this topic itself is very elaborate we have already started it but it has so many d- deeper understandings as well but uh, i'll just i've just given the brief overview of it that how the character gets built by these five things name form quality past times and the associates and now we are going to hear the character of chaitanya chaitanya means the one who is the source of consciousness who is ujjwal who is स्वयं भगवान जो स्वयं ईश्वर हु इज कम्प्लीटली इंडिपेंडेंट हु इज स्वराट सो मेनी एडजेक्टिव कैन बी अप्लाइड सो वी आर गोन हियर हिज क्वालिटीज हिज पास्ट टाइम्स हिज करेक्टर बेसिकली एंड वेन वी talk about character hearing someone's character so we have to hear about the name form quality past times and the associates nam kya hai what is the name 
श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य वी विल कीप हियरिंग ऑल दिस वन वन पॉइंट्स ऑल दिस फाइव थिंग्स व्हिच बिल्ड अप द करैक्टर नाम क्या है सो द नेम इज निमाई नाम क्या है विश्वम द नेम इज विश्वंभर द नेम इज गौर नाम क्या है द नेम इज श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य द नेम इज श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु चैतन्य चरित्र चरित्र मीन्स हिज नेम फॉर्म क्वालिटीज पास टाइम्स एंड एसोसिएट्स ऑल ज्वाइन टूगेदर दे मेक सच अ ब्यूटिफुल स्क्रिप्चर विच इज लाइक नेक्टर दैट इज चैतन्य चरित अमृत दिस इज दैट नेक्टर नॉट नेक्टर ऑफ हेवन नेवर कंपेयर दिस नेक्टर विद द नेक्टर ऑफ हेवन दैट नेक्टर ऑफ हेवन इट इज जस्ट अ मेटीरियल थिंग about which shukadev goswami also just rejected hey just take away this nectar keep it with you only so he shukadev goswami himself minimized it compared to whom compared to what so one side lord's hari katha is there and other side this nectar of heaven is there so this nectar of heaven is much cheaper compared to this hari katha of the lord it is so heavy it is so pure so high so here what to speak of krishna leela we are hearing about mahaprabhu's past times and this is no ordinary nectar by an ordinary nectar one can become very beautiful one can become very uh, attain longevity or become very healthy but this nectar this nectar of mahaprabhu it's completely different it's so high and special by accepting that ordinary nectar can be become the associate of mahaprabhu or can we um, get the service or attain some position in krishna leela no but this nectar of chaitanya charitamrit this nectar of mahaprabhu's past times once we drink this drinking means accepting jeeva lagakar mu mein dal kar how we drink with the tongue with the mouth we just drink like this regarding an ordinary water we can still tell about it but we can uh, not easily tell about drinking of this hari katha because when this topic comes about drinking this nectar of mahaprabhu's leela this hari katha at that time the main thing that is the main changer the game changer is here that we have to drink it by the ears not using our tongue or lips this actually we start hearing from our ear the drinking from our ear see this mahaprabhu's hari katha nectar this will give all those things which that ordinary nectar will give like longevity it will really make you immortal also but the main thing the main product of it is that it can make us to get into that list of mahaprabhu's associates we can become the servant of mahaprabhu how by hearing this and accepting it in our heart and then again reflecting on it while doing hari naam aur hire se prarthna karte ho hari naam kiya jayega and when this chanting happens with heart with so much prayerful mood then we will really understand the real nectar that is hidden inside this so that's why today's katha was just like an introduction the foundation that i just laid that what we are gonna do what is this thing that we have started so we are also building our character through this how that character building will happen by hearing the beautiful character of chaitanya mahaprabhu which is not like ordinary nectar it is like the divine nectar which is full of consciousness there is enlightenment there is light there is illumination there not darkness and there is realization so that kind of nectar we are going to drink so that's why today ek foundation banane mein hi samay lag gaya 
the whole time went in just laying this foundation and it is very important also so this is actually the process to make the foundation very strong and then creating a beautiful palace of the past times so this is the way the introduction has been done I'll, let me just tell all the devotees that we are not starting with Adi Leela. I have already started Adi Leela previously. Um, you can hear our devotees will tell you where it is. They'll give you the link also. It must be there somewhere on the YouTube as well. So you can hear there. But we are going to start in Madhya Leela, with Madhya Leela. Because the devotees had this desire that we will hear the philosophy but we have not heard the sequential pastimes of Mahaprabhu like properly. So we want to hear. See, actually, I am uh, constrained, like um, suppressing myself so much not to uh, speak very deeply because I just uh, recall all those devotees who have said me that please, in simple way, you tell us everything. So from tomorrow, we will start Madhya Leela. And let's see till when this flow uh, stays intact. Every day at the same time, we all will gather. And at the lotus feet of Sri Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, we just pray with a longing mood that may he give us blessing, may he give us the force, and may he only Stay at the lotus feet of Nityananda Prabhu and Mahaprabhu so that sinful and offenders like us may we some someday, someday become qualified to drink this nectar of the lotus feet of Mahaprabhu. And as soon as we'll get that nectar of Chaitanya Charitamrit of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then at once all these tendencies of performing sinful activities, doing offenses, they will all just go at once. And then we'll be able to understand what is Chaitanya Charitamrit. So, and we will attain it in full form. With this mode, this intention, this motive. Jai Jai Nityananda Jai. Jai Jai. All Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, Advaita Chare, everyone, we just pay obeisances. Gaur Premanande Hari Hari Bol. Sachinandan Gaur Hari Ki Jaya. Recording stopped.